Philadelphia freedom. Is that how this one goes? We are in Philadelphia. Keep that in mind as you look at the surrounding downtown area as we're doing Rocky filming locations. A iconic film as we are in front of the Rocky statue. So this statue was created for a scene in the film Rocky 3. And it was presented to the city of Philadelphia by actor Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, in 1982. So Rocky was a fictional boxer who ended his morning run with an ascent up the Philadelphia Museum of Art steps. In the movie Rocky 3, which was in 1982, a massive statue uh, is raised in triumph, is unveiled in the courtyard of the Museum of Art. But in real life, actor Sylvester Stallone, former Philadelphian, acted as Rocky in a series of film, presented the statue to City of Philadelphia in 82. He would end, Rocky would end his morning run through the streets of Philadelphia with an ascent up the steps of Philadelphia Museum of Art. Quite controversial. Controversial nonetheless. But the inscription here reads, It's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. are the Rocky Steps. The Rocky Steps, as you might be very well familiar if you watch the Rocky movie scenes. Whenever uh, Rocky is training, his routine involves some way or another running up these steps. <laughs> Great feet, something I probably would not be able to do uh, <laughs> without getting winded now. The Rocky film scene, this scene, you know, where he's running up the stairs, has become a con cultural icon. Uh, many tourists uh, visit the steps to recreate the scene themselves. I'm sure people, you could see people running up and down the stairs. E! Channel once ranked at number 13 in the 101 most awesome moments in entertainment. And here is the man in the lift. The man, the legend himself, Rocky doing it. Out what was Mickey's gym on 2147 Front Street? Pretty damn cool. This is the street down the block. Looks like this is uh, abandoned. Mighty Mix Gym, boxing gym, founded and owned by Mickey Goodmill until his death in 1981. Goodmill trained Rocky Balboa at the gym. After Mickey's death in 81, the gym closed and remained dormant for about six years until Rocky Balboa, who had filed for bankruptcy, had returned to Philadelphia. And there you see right there where the pet store used to be, right in front of that black car. But, um, you know, we remained dormant six years. Rocky Balboa 
who had filed for bankruptcy had returned to Philadelphia to reopen the gym due to it being one of the only possessions that the bank could not take due to it being willed to his son, Robert Balboa, by Mickey. And I completely apologize for having missed this, but this is their pet shop you've seen uh, where Rocky and Adrian first met in 1975. It was... Uh, an actual pet shop. Some filming locations. Philadelphia. Outside of uh, what was Adrian's. Uh, let's walk around this way. It's called the Victor Cafe now. Awesome. Adrian's. So Adrian's, a.k.a. Victor Cafe, made a couple of appearances in the Rocky series in Rocky Balboa, Creed, Creed 2. And this is the cafe that was, or rather, town restaurant opened by Rocky Balboa far following the death of Adrian. Um, this was also where... Um, Mason, the Lion Dixon's manager, suggested Rocky fights him. Adrian uh, Adonis Johnson Creed made an appearance in this restaurant. And that is uh, Apollo Creed's son. He comes in, he makes an appearance in the restaurant. He wants Rocky to train him uh, and manage him. That's from the movie uh, Creed. And Ivan Drago also comes here. 1818. Tuscaloosa Street is where you will find the home of Rocky Balboa. Uh, now, this home really hasn't changed at all. Uh, you've seen it in the 70s. Pretty much the same. Uh, I think it's missing that, um, that little lamp, that little light that was uh, by the door. Uh, just in, just like you've seen in Rocky, him being in a rough neighborhood, this neighborhood still is uh, very rough, to say the least. And because you cannot get enough, a little added bonus footage here outside of Tony Luke's, dare I say, probably the best. Philly cheesesteak uh, in the area. If you're taking a peek at the menus, you're paying a la carte. Uh, you're paying separate for your sandwich, you're paying separate for your french fries, and separate for your beverage. Uh, gets a lot of visitors, as you would expect. Uh, when I was here, I've seen quite a few people. Um, Looks uh, like you were, they were going to the Philly game because um, actually uh, Citizens Bank Ballpark and uh, the home of the uh, Eagles across the way as well are both uh, hop and a skip away here from uh, Tony Luke's. This is actually off of the uh, Walt Whitman uh, Bridge. Uh, there is enclosed dining. Uh, you're waiting a couple of minutes for your food. Nothing serious, nothing too bad. I can imagine it's a little bit more during the weekend. You were here during the week. During the weekend, this is, I'm sure, a uh, major uh, attraction spot, tourist spot. Um, maybe even, dare I say, during night games. Or, uh, and day games for local sports teams, uh, but they make everything fresh. I think it's well worth the money. Uh, two sandwiches, two fries, and a Coke. I believe we spent like $35. Not bad at all. As we depart Tony Luke's, I will share some pictures of some famous monuments. 
in the city. Really oh, this is a brotherly love. She steak, pepper, chicken. This is chicken, right? No beef. Beef. Chick beef. Yeah, beef and fries. 